Um, hi, so I'm presenting this on behalf of Schwabe, Anna Maria and myself. Uh, in summer 2021, a survey was carried out asking questions about software use and development among the arts and humanities community. We received 118 responses on questions ranging from discipline and kind of trying to get a sense of who's in the digital humanity, humanities community in terms of career stage and discipline and background to specific computing techniques and production skills that people were using or would like to use. Um, and then some free text questions on what people use software for, why they use it, and how software could better support their research. We're still finalizing the report, um, but this slide is just some of our initial ideas. And we'd be grateful for any feedback. And we will, we have a draft report that we'll be sending out to some SSI fellows in this area and other contexts who've um, helped with the survey. So the main finding that we've put on the side is that there's a gap in support for software development and training, and that it would benefit specifically from being tailored to career stage. So PhD students in ECRs, so early career researchers of every kind, may not be staying in academia or in research, so the sustainability of their software tends to be less of a priority, and that's one example. Uh, Mid-career and later career researchers are more interested in sustainability, uh, mid-career researchers use a wider range of techniques than junior ones, and by the time we get to late stage, there's less focus on direct involvement in software creation and more on things like management. So thinking about ways of knowledge trickle down is helpful. Um, our initial recommendations focus on this kind of broad categorization. So things like encouraging funders of PhDs to commit to supporting the software creators as part of those, targeting training to career stage, um, and building explicit things like feedback um, on the training and software needs of applicants into things like peer review of the AHR. HRC's funding bids so that learning can be shared. Uh, there'll be more detail in the report, um, so this is just a teaser, but we'd be grateful for any feedback. So do get in touch if you'd like to talk about it. Thank you.